I'll never forget the first time I heard Michelle and Dege Ocello's debut album, Plantation Lullabies, in 1994. It introduced me and most of the rest of the world to this amazing singer, songwriter, activist, and one of the baddest bass players ever. Part funk, part soul, part jazz, part hip hop, part alternative. This is one of the greatest debut albums you'll ever hear. And an album that some point to as one of the earliest and most important neo soul records that exists. Released in 1993 on Maverick, Plantation Lullabies blends several stylistic genres with amazing lyricism, singular vocals, and killing bass grooves on just about every track. From aggressive slapping, to funky octave finger style, this is a song about sadness. you would be hard pressed to find another bassist that plays like her. Her style is fully formed, aggressive, yet supportive and always grooving, as you'll see. Today I'm gonna to talk about my favorite song on this album, track number nine, Call Me. This track is a three-headed monster. There's three different styles of bass played on three different instruments depending on the section of the song. Starting with the chorus, which revolves around these two chords. The bass line here is a very cool combination of synth bass and bass guitar trading off. And it sounds very much like she's playing a Fender jazz bass to my ears. This is one of my favorite lyrics. If words aren't of the essence, I'll soothe you with my presence. Mm. The verse is all bass guitar and all Michelle. This is what makes her great. The syncopation of the line, how aggressively she plays it, the slide she throws in. It's deceptively hard to pull off swung 16th notes playing on all the offbeats. She's also playing with a combination of both real and sample drums, and she's just dead on grooving. to the bridge, the color completely shifts to just synth bass. But it's that 16 bar breakdown at the end of the song that just kills me. Over the same chord changes as the chorus, Michelle plays kind of a variation on that verse bass line, but on a Music Man bass. It just pops out and she is putting on a clinic on space, on note length, on articulation, on musical fills. And I haven't even mentioned that the great Luis Conte plays congas on this track, Bobby Lyle takes the piano solo, and Wah Wah Watson is playing guitar. This is the real deal. The whole album is, of course, incredible, and Michelle Indege Ocello is a genius. 
I'm not gonna sit here and speculate on why people and bass players don't talk about her more, but they should. She is a brilliant and singular musician. And if you don't have this record, well, you need this one, so go and check it out. Let me run my fingers through your drip lights and run them all over your body till you holler stop. 